So today I'm going to share with you why I think gardening is something that you all should do and why I find it very important for myself. So it is that time of year when if you're a gardener like me or you're thinking about it or you are going to start for the first time that seed starting needs to happen. I've got my seed cells tray here started with some seeds in it already and so I'm just going to maybe answer some of your questions that you're wondering about why should I garden? What are the benefits of gardening? And what I have found to be beneficial and along with what I have found, I did a little bit of looking on Google to see what they said was important about gardening. So if you're curious about that, then I'm going to share that. So first off, it is important to get outside. That is the number one. They're not in any particular order, by the way. I'm just sharing um, six different areas of the benefits of gardening. So getting outside, vitamin D is so important for our health and getting outside off of our screens, setting our phones aside, our computers, taking time after work, after we've been probably looking at a screen of some sort to get our hands in that dirt and get some sunlight is just a great way to get us outside if we are lacking in that um, motivation. The second way that gardening is um, important or something that you can do is it's a good way of exercise. So no, not all of it is strenuous, but when you're digging holes or um, chopping wood or raking or whatever that may be, that burns calories. That gives you good exercise. It uses muscles that you don't even know you had. So there's often times after I've had a full day of gardening, well, full day as in several hours, that the next morning you wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm sore, I didn't even know I had aches and pains in those areas. It's just a very good form of exercise that's not super strenuous, but that can be um, beneficial to your body. The third way um, to and why you should garden is because it's a mood booster. So after the winter has gone by, especially where I live, it's really cold and snowy most of the time. Um, it's nice to, again, get outside or boost my mood to be out in that dirt and that soil. And one study that I was looking at showed that even the soil has something in it that when you're touching that soil, it can boost your mood. And um, people who struggled with depression and anxiety after 12 weeks of doing some gardening, they had less symptoms of depression. The fourth reason you should garden is you eat better. So when you see from start, so the seeds that you put in that seed cell tray to picking that fruit off the vines or whatever you are picking is just a great way for you to eat better because you're out harvesting, you're eating that fresh produce you are more apt to want to eat healthier instead of eating those processed foods, the canned foods. You get to grow your own food and eat the nutritious produce that you started from start to finish. The fifth reason to garden is it is a bonding way for a family and it is good training for children. So I have two little girls and one of mine is a almost three year old. She helped me start some of these seeds and just getting her started on that to see the process from beginning to end is a great way to teach patience and watching everything grow because it will be several several months until it comes to harvest time and it also teaches loss because some plants will die the animals will pick off some of the fruit and you won't get to see all that and if it's not just vegetables it could be flowers some of them also will die or you'll get to see them start and their heads will drop off or you have to prune off their heads and all those different things that they have to learn is training for your children and also to see where produce comes from. It doesn't just come from a grocery store shelf. It comes from the land and the work that you have to put into it and it teaches them good work ethic, which I am very um, a big promoter of anyways in our children is training them as a homemaker and a mother, training them from when they're little to older and gardening is a great way to do that. So the sixth reason to garden is you get to pick 
what you do with your produce instead of buying it at the grocery store where there may have been chemicals put on it um, you're not sure how it was even raised what happened to it you get to decide how you want to raise your produce you can go the natural route you can do chemicals if you want you get to decide what you want for your own garden. If you wanna do a raised bed, if you wanna do it in the ground, if you only have space for a couple pots on the patio, if you wanna do vegetables only, if you wanna do just flowers, you get to make that decision for yourself. But yet, that encompasses almost everything that I just talked about above because when you decide your gardening, you get to moose your food, you get to exercise, you get to be outside, you get to train your children or bond with your husband or spouse or friend that you are gardening with or community if you're in a community garden. So those are six of the ways that I have felt gardening is important and I've been gardening. My mom trained us again from when we were little to garden till now and so I think it's important to be able to do that and raising our own food right now in this time that we're in seems rather important. So maybe you want to have enough food to store for a few months, which is what I do. I don't raise food solely um, just for all through the winter. I don't have enough garden space for that, but I do raise food to can and to freeze and to share with others as well. And so hopefully this encourages you to garden, whether like I said, it's in a pot, in a raised bed, um, some herbs just in a pot, or if you wanna just have a full-blown scale wide garden that you get started this year. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to see more gardening videos or just have me incorporate them more into my homemaking videos, give this a thumbs up, and I love you guys, and I'll be talking with you in the next video.